One and a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick on the ZX Spectrum 48K and we're going to play this shooter called Cop Out published by Microgen in 1986. Now here's one of the most overused pieces of music in uh, retro gaming, I think it's the Entertainer. Most notably known from the snooker. Now this is a shoot em up. I have got a cheat here for Infinite Lies but we'll at least have one proper go. The game also came out on the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64. Uh, you're in a battle between the police, which is you, shooting at the bottom there, and um, gangsters. Right, let's try and not get killed here. So, there's ten levels in this. Um, you've got the crosshairs, when you fire you can't move. Um, so you've got to dodge the bullets and I'm dead, yes. Okay, you get points for shooting birds, gangsters, cars and planes and uh, bonus points for hitting a bird and it landing on a gangster as it falls down uh, the screen, right? Now this game's quite tricky, there's a lot of stuff firing at you uh, and if you get hit, well then you're dead. Now lives are in the top right, you see I've got seven I'm running around like a fool trying to, um, yes, trying to win. Now the color, there's no real colour clash on this, ever so slightly as uh, bottles and stuff go through other solid graphics but it doesn't look too bad but it is ridiculously difficult, right? Shoot that bird, good, nice sound there. There's a plane, I don't know, that's a gangster's plane, we've got to shoot that down. So you've got the general idea, haven't you? Nice bit of shading there on that yellow picket fence and the white door opening up beneath it. Once you get used to levels, you will see what keeps popping up and get your crosshairs on it, but it's frantic mad action. Whoops, not for your beginners. So if you can see this one, track this one down. It's quite a nice game, quite nicely coded. See the high score there and my score, and I've got bopped again. A generous amount of lives, what is a very, very hard game. So, this is the Roaring Twenties as you go all the way across America trying to clear out all these gangsters and thugs. Well done, shoot for next level, well, that's good, and this is without a poke on it. So, I'm doing great, right? Next level, here we go. So, we're out in the sticks, it seems. Maybe it's Nevada or somewhere outside Vegas. Um, cactus, and I've got shot. You will lose lives quite quickly. I like the detail there of the graphics and the obstacles. It's um, a lot of attention to detail this. It looks very, very pretty. And from the screenshots as a kid, you might have um, uh, wanted to buy it. Now, if I owned this back in the day as a kid, would I come back to it? Yeah, I think I would have done. Um, but as I say, I'm getting a little bit distance on my first go, but um, it is, as I say, incredibly difficult. So don't ask um, for an easy ride. Now, I, I, although I'm quite liking it, I do prefer another shooter I reviewed a few months back called Kane, set in the Wild West, and Crossfire was another good one, but the graphics in this are a little bit more detailed, but unlike Kane, you don't get to ride a horse. We're firing full stops at people. I'm sure there is a tactic here. I think if the bullet hits your foot, I think you're slightly immune. So as long as you don't get it in the main body, you'll be okay. Now, game over. I think we'll put a cheat on. Now, if you owned this one back in the day, let me know, did you complete all 10 levels, right? We're gonna go to poke time, which means I've got infinite lives. Bom, ba, bom, ba, bom. Ba, do, ba, do, ba, da, ba, ba, do, ba, do. Right, here we go, I think. Right, we don't wanna go on keyboard, we wanna go on good old Kempston joystick, but I'm not using a Kempston joystick. I'm using a sort of like a equivalent to it, um, a super pro competition thingamajig. Right, so there's cyan birds, there's green birds. Uh, see my lives in the top right there, it's saying a colon, which I presume is infinite lives, I presume. Um, right, so get your crosshairs here. It's quite difficult to um, coordinate this. Right, left and right running backward and forward. Get the crosshairs, it, it does like follow the crosshairs to a degree, but as I say, when you're firing you can't move. So when you stop, you are a little bit vulnerable. All the gangsters have things to hide behind, and for whatever reason, you can't hide behind anything. I think they should have sent Robocop in instead, but I don't think Robocop existed in the 1920s. If you are Robocop and you did exist in the 1920s, comment below. Excellent. I think I would have done okay in the 1920s, only because I've got this romantic feel about it, where I would wear my collection of hats and fedoras and trilbies and sit in a speakeasy, sipping whiskey and some comfort and uh, listening to Lula sing all our so all her songs with no swear words in and um, any rapping about someone getting a cap in our ass. It was a different time then. 
Yes, and I think people fired, if the movies, um, you can trust them, people went around firing machine guns um, with custom pies. I think that was a documentary I saw, I think. Bugsy Malone, that's the one. Right, can we get off level one? I think we can, because we've got infinite lives. Um, I'm not sure if it's the amount of score you have to get, or um, the time level you have to last until the next level completes, but I think very few kids would have actually survived past 10 levels. If you are one of those kids, what happens at the end? I'd imagine it goes back to the beginning again. Right, so we're back in Nirvana in the desert. There's gangsters hiding in the desert, firing for reasons unknown, and they're all firing against one policeman because the police have had cutbacks. I haven't got a police car, I haven't got a police dog. Just this one man hiding behind a cactus with a single pistol. That is insane. If you are a member of the police force, um, is this like a representative of an average day? Let me know. Right. Uh, it's, it's, good, it's good to be in a, a game where you're controlling the police rather than one of these gangster thugs. Teaches you morals, and the morals is, is never shoot, have a shootout in the desert without a poke for infinite lives. Yeah, that's um, that's true in gaming and real life. Okay, so it is a bit like Red Dead Redemption, isn't it? This is could be like Red Dead Redemption Three. Uh, I really wish they put like a mini game like this hidden in there. That would be quite nice to see. Right, I'm I'm dying every two seconds here, but as you can see, my uh, infinite lives is working quite well. The police dress in yellow. I do not know why. Perhaps it's uh, a light blue would have been better because that's like at least a police colour. Obviously not black, because black against a black background would be terrible. But I can't emphasise enough, look at the shading on the cactus, on the rocks. Um, and just that general stone walling there that's in the desert. Uh, uh, again, for reasons unknown, as a truck goes past. Right, I can't have too much long left of this one. So we're going to see we're going to see a few levels at least, haven't we? Good stuff. Now, if you're new to the channel, we have reviewed quite a lot of Spectrum games. Um, gradually coming up to 550. Yes, amazing. How the hell have I done that? If you've listened to all of them, then well done you, and apologies if you've got now some mental problems caused by the jibber-jabbering of all those reviews. Excellent. If you, as I say, if you are new to the channel, then check out those other reviews as well. Show them some love. I do like it when the old videos um, show up uh, as being watched or liked or uh, generally commented on. Hooray! Right, here we go. We're now by some sort of a bridge with a hole in the middle. That needs a bit of attention. Right. I think I've got an extra life there because it's gone from colon to a funny bracket. Hmm. Right, again. Yeah, it's, it coded well there. I mean, ever so slight colour clash, but it's minimal, isn't it? It's minimal, despite the months going on. So, really well designed this game. I'm quite impressed. Those clouds aren't moving. It's, uh, well, I wouldn't expect them to. Some of these gangsters popping up look like schoolgirls rather than thugs. That look like Ben Kenobi just popped up then. So, I, I don't know what's going on. But I would expect them to wear hats and fedoras and, uh, yeah, just general zoot suits. Uh, I think they've had a bit of a laugh with this. There's a bottle flying across there. Um, flying somewhere. People popping up in the windows. Yes, yeah, so I do check out those other shooters I've reviewed. A Kane, Crossfire, there's Operation Wolf, um, Space something or other. But you was on a space station killing aliens and stuff. But I didn't own this one back in the day. I didn't know much about it. There's quite a lot of games I'm only sort of like coming in touch with. And that's the beauty of retro gaming looking past. If you own this back in the day as a, as a kid, you're probably getting a, a bit of nostalgia by playing these again. I'm still getting a little bit of nostalgia because of the 8-bit graphics and the way it moves. I can sort of like um, think back to what I would have done with this game as a kid. And I would have played it every now and again. It's, it's okay, it's, it's nice. It um, puts you in a different world, gets the imagination um, uh, sparking. Uh, you can just like make up the name of the policeman and the gangsters you're fighting against and try and work out why. What Some dress in pink, some dress in yellow, some dress in white. Why do they do that? They, they are very weird gangsters, uh, probably reminiscent of the old Adam West Batman. Same bad time, same bad channel. Right. Well, this is just a normal policeman. Maybe it's Commissioner Gordon. Who knows? If you know, comment below. As per usual, I do like those comments below. Right, boom. Well done. Shoot for next level. Right, I'll do that then. What's next? Where are we going? We're going across America. So where's it going to be? It's in a warehouse. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. There's a forklift truck there. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Die, everyone. Yes. I think they just nuke this place from orbit. It's the only way. 
Right, okay. If you've been in a warehouse, is this typical? Do the birds fly? Why is a bird flying in the warehouse? Who let that thing in? Is it a white dove? The double piece? It's just going backward and forward. Why? Nobody knows. Why would a bird fly in a warehouse backward and forward? Maybe it works there. Maybe it's lost the keys to the forklift truck and it's looking for them. It's got to load up those crates and put them on a shelf somewhere. Yeah. I think at some point we'll turn the cheat off to see how well I do, which probably won't be uh, for too much longer. Die. No, I'm dying. These, these gangsters must be wondering why this policeman has taken probably 8,000 bullets to the brain and is still fighting. Well, this is a super cop. Boof. Yes. Okay, so there's quite a lot of content here. So if you bought this as a full price game back in the day, um, you so you're not going to complete it in two seconds. And um, there would be that that uh, thing as a kid. You we would want to see what the next level looks like. So you know it would have been equal frustration and delight also. So yeah, uh, Microgen have done well here. They've produced uh, quite a few good games. Microgen. This one is in 1986. Well done, shoot the next level. Well, we might have a, a brief look at it and then I'll turn the uh, poke off. I think I might turn the poke off now, actually. Who turned the poke off? Boo, 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 boo. Now we're at a station. Now they're all jumping out from behind uh, this um, thing, from these carriages. Right, we're at a station somewhere. Don't know where it is. Right, I think the poke's off. Check out my lives in the top right. Every time I die, it should go down by one. Is it going down by one? A bit hard to tell. Oh, I'm dying every two seconds now. Yeah, I think it's, it's gone to semicolon now. As soon as that goes to numbers, we know I haven't got long left for this world. So if I can get off this stage, it'd be like a minor miracle. Gangsters dressed in cyan, green, yellow and white. Yeah, that's a, that yellow one that pops up on the right. That looks like a schoolgirl each time. How did she get mixed up with the mob? Cops left nine. I, right, killed that Ben Kenobi person. Eight, it is going down. Yes, I think um, I think game over is imminent here because uh, I've got to this stage by well cheaty work, and now my cheats unveiled. Um, I'm I'm yeah, I've been shown up for the fraudster I am. Well, can we do it? Looks like a sn looks like um, that biker scout from Return of the Jedi, that white one. Then comes the schoolgirl again. How does she get mixed up with them? I do not know. What a weird set of gangsters! Did they make up the the, uh, the story of this game afterwards? They might have done. But uh, good to have a character running backward and forward rather than just uh, crosshairs like Operation Wolf and Operation Thunderbolt and all those other operations. There was a lot of operations going on here, but uh, after my battle here I'm going to need a lot of operations and it's game over as that bloke gets carted off, no doubt to be converted into a cyborg cop for Robocop. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that one. I quite liked it, but it is very, very hard, um, coded really well. So that was Cop Out by Microgen in 1986 on the ZX Spectrum 48K. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put them below. You're always more than, more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.